My name is Michelle Bright and I serve as the Title IX Coordinator for Franklin Community Schools. I'm here today to share with you a message about sexual harassment, sexual discrimination, and Title IX. Franklin Community Schools is committed to maintaining a safe and nurturing learning environment for all of our students at all times. This includes during school hours and during after school activities. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Title IX law, as well as help you understand what you should do in the event that you think you, or someone you know, has been the victim of sexual harassment or sexual discrimination. Title IX is a federal law that applies to all institutions that receive money from the federal government, including public school corporations. The law protects students from harassment and discrimination based on sex. That includes sexual violence, harassment based on biological sex, and discrimination based on a failure to conform to gender stereotypes. Title IX protects students from sexual harassment carried out by teachers and other school staff as well as by other students. Sexual harassment and discrimination can be illegal if it creates a hostile learning environment or it denies a student the ability to participate in certain programs or activities. Harassment includes unwanted verbal and written sexual statements, name calling, and sexual advances in person or online. For example, if a student is made to feel uncomfortable in class with another student who has been sexually harassing him or her by touching him or her inappropriately or by making unwanted sexual remarks, he or she may not be getting the most out of that class and is then being denied his or her ability to participate in a not hostile environment. Sexual violence is a physical sexual act that is conducted against a person's will or when a person is incapable of providing consent. This includes rape, sexual assault, sexual battery, sexual abuse, and sexual coercion. These acts are not only unlawful under Title IX, but will most likely involve local authorities, including the police, and may result in criminal charges. Keep in mind that sexual harassment or sexual violence that occurs outside of school, perhaps at an athletic event or a party, can also create a hostile environment at school. In regards to school employees, sexual activity between an adult and a student is always considered to be unwelcome and non-consensual and will result in a criminal investigation. Any situation where a student feels as though a teacher or other adult at school have an imbalance of power over them or their actions should be reported immediately. It is very important for you to report incidents of sexual harassment and sexual violence to your teachers, school counselor, or principal as soon as possible. You can also contact me directly at the administration building by phone or email. Franklin Community Schools takes reports of this nature very seriously, and we have a responsibility to take immediate and appropriate action to stop the inappropriate behavior and prevent its recurrence. Keep in mind, the inappropriate behavior does not need to be directed at you for you to report it. And while not all inappropriate behavior will be deemed unlawful under Title IX, we maintain that harassment or discrimination will not be tolerated at Franklin Community Schools.